Now in the last part of this question then, we're given that the vector r is the resultant of f1 and f2. In other words, if we were to add f1 and f2 together, we get the resultant. And we're also told that the resultant is parallel to the vector i, so it's going to be like this in the direction of i. And we've got to then find out the value of p. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, what we need to do is find out what r is going to be by adding together the vectors f1 and f2. So if we do that, we've got the i plus the pi, so we can put that in brackets as 1i plus p in the i direction, plus, and then we've got to add the j components, we've got minus 3 here and 2p here, so I'm going to write that as 2p minus 3, all in the j direction. Now because r is parallel to the i direction, that means it's just going to be something i. There'll be no j's in it, okay? So that means that 2p minus 3 must equal 0. So if we just write that in by saying that if parallel to the vector i, then the j component, which is 2p minus 3, must be 0. And from this equation, we can work out what p is, because all we need to do is add 3 to both sides and divide by 2. So p equals 3 over 2. Right then, that brings us now to the end of this question.